animation. It's something that can be very hard to do in Roblox, especially if you're a beginner. I myself was also having trouble with making simple animations at one point. In this video, you'll learn some really nice tips for beginner animators while I answer questions that you guys commented on in the first part of this animation tutorial series. So make sure you stick around till the end for the best one of them all. At one point it stops letting me create anymore. Adding more time to your animation is actually simpler than you think. All you have to do is go to this box right here and change it to however long you want your animation to be. As far as I know, there isn't really a limit to this, so you could make something like a really long animation of a guy raising his hand or something. How do I animate myself running in a game? To add yourself doing anything, you'll first need to make a rig of yourself. You can do this by using a free plugin that I'll be linking in the description called Load Character Light by Already Pro. Once you've downloaded it and opened the plugin, all you have to do is type in the username of the player you want to insert, and there you have it. Quick disclaimer, the custom rig is more for making animations to post outside of Roblox, and not for games on Roblox itself. Just wanted to bring that out there. How to make an animation play every time we use the tool, like in a power battle or a sword fight. So here, I have my two animations. My equip animation, and my use or interact animation for when the player clicks. And here, I have my very basic tool I pre-made earlier. Make sure you have properly fixed and welded the tool before doing anything else. Inside the tool I'll insert a local script, and inside that script I'll insert two animations and type the IDs of the equip and use animations. Now our script will be a bit different than the one we had before since we're working with a tool and the player instead of just a rig. We'll start by identifying the local player, then the player's character, then the character's humanoid. Then, we'll identify both the equip and use animations. You can also add these four lines in to make sure that your animation is set to top priority and isn't looped. This part is optional if you know you've already done that while making the animations. Now's the fun part. We'll first identify the tool. Then, we'll create a function for whenever the tool is equipped. And when it is, it will play the equip animation. The function for the use animation is similar, but instead of it saying equipped as the event stated here, it will state the event called activated, which will detect whenever the player clicks with the tool equipped. And of course, it will play the use animation when activated. When we equip our tool in game, you'll see that the equip animation will play as intended. And when we click, the use animation will play. But make sure you add a debounce cooldown like this, or if you spam click, it will make your player do this. Here's the full script, and go watch the first tutorial in this series for useful and maybe even better advice and tips.